hanging out with Josh Allen, joining us on behalf of Subway. Uh, we'll get into this because, let's be honest, we're going to play a card game. It's called What's in the Cards, okay? So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you, it's a little higher or lower. I'm going to show you a card. You tell me, is the next card going to be higher or lower? If okay. you get it right, you get an easy question. If you get it wrong, you get a hard question, and I'm going to figure out how out of this I can get treats. All okay. right? We, you got we good? It. Yeah. All right, so I've got a deck of cards. You can't see them, Matt, but they've been shuffled. Card number one comes up at three. So you I promise they've that. been shuffled? They've been shuffled. Oh, yeah, I'll shuffle them again in front. People, the athletes are conspiracy theorists, right? Because it's not the first person to imply we rigged the deck. All right. Higher or lower than a three? Higher. Higher. He says he took a minute for that. Eight. That means you get an easy question. How long did it take for your feet to thaw out after the game against the Chiefs? I'll tell you what. When, when you get temperatures that cold, you get in the shower after the game, and it's like sticking needles in your feet. It is the most painful thing ever. And I, I have bad circulation in my toes. So it feels like I've got little ice blocks down there. So it took probably a good hour and a half. You have bad circulation? So like in the game, are you like wiggling the toesies? I'm trying to, yeah. Okay. It's, 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 it's tough. And we got like the little feet heaters down by our feet that don't really work. They're there, but doesn't do much. I don't know how I feel about the fact that I just said wiggling your toesies to a starting quarterback in the NFL. Uh, are we supporting a dome now on the, like putting a roof on the stadium? After you were that cold? No, it's Buffalo. You gotta have it outdoors. Look at that. That's why he's tough. I'm not. All right, higher or lower than an eight? This is a tricky one. That's gonna be lower. Okay, that's gonna be lower. He says, and it's a queen. Ah! Oh, that means he missed this one. Earlier today, we talked to one Stefan Diggs who informed us that before every game, you throw up. True or false? That is 100% true. Okay, are, yeah. we, are we working on this? I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's not like I'm nervous. It's not. I don't know. I think it's honestly primal. And I think it goes back like a hungry warrior fights harder. And I think uh, my body just naturally does it. I got to go get it out. It actually does some good things for me. I don't cramp up during the game. It's it's There's some weird benefits to it. So uh, I did it starting my second year in the league and haven't looked back since. Okay, so it started in there. So this wasn't an always thing. No. Like, was there a day where you realized, I, like, this is Well, I always part? had the urge to do it. Okay. And I never committed to actually throwing up until I was sick one day. Uh, it was the Detroit, Detroit Lions, my second year preseason in Detroit. And I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just going to go throw up. I wasn't feeling great. I did it. And I had this weird sensation where I'd cramp up after throwing in my thumb. And after I threw up, I didn't have that anymore. So I was like, maybe that's it. So I started doing it and fixed it. Right Special off. spot on the field or just wherever? No, it's usually in the bathroom. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's right respectful. after we come in from pregame. Does it change the eating habits beforehand? Yeah, or? I don't really eat all that much um, on game days. If it's a 1 o'clock game, I don't eat, eat anything. If it's a night game, I'll have a, a light breakfast, but just knowing that it's coming back up anyway, so why put it in there? Yeah, that's fair. All right, higher or lower than a queen? Lower. I, yeah, he goes lower. It's a king! Oh, and you watched me shuffle, so you know that this is not rigged. Okay, so there's a lot of conversation about Josh Allen, right? Like, how always has been. From the day you were drafted, everybody has a Josh Allen opinion. Even this year, everybody has a Josh Allen opinion. How do you shut out the noise? Do you hear the amount that people constantly talk about? No, well... About halfway through the season, I just kind of got rid of all my social media. I deleted it from my phone, and I didn't look at it, and it was actually kind of freeing. But there's one thing I've always told myself, like anything that you or anybody else in here can and will have said about me, I've already said it to myself, good and bad. I'm, I'm a pretty uh, notorious negative self-talker, which I think that helps me, you know. Um, so I've heard it all from myself, so whatever anybody else says, it doesn't really bother me. I love that insight. That's actually amazing. So now we have higher or lower than Lower. Eight. He's going to go lower. It's a nine. He gets it. That makes it an easy question. What is it about Bills fans that make him so incredible? The this passion, softball, the passion, wild. the energy that they have. Um, again, it's five degrees at kickoff in Kansas City against Kansas City, and they are out in full force, shirts off, screaming as loud as they can. They tailgate like no other. Um, I had a buddy that Keith Mitchell, who's a, a pro golfer, he's a Georgia Bulldog. And he came and he tailgated with some people. And he said that's the only place that has an SEC like atmosphere. And I think that's that's pretty cool. You knew about the wildness of Bill's Mafia. We all did. Did you know about the kindness? I just want to take a second to point out the philanthropy, yeah. the giving, the things they do. Did you have any idea that was part of the culture? I mean, I had a slight idea. Um, the year before I was there, obviously Andy Dalton helped them get to the playoffs. He threw a late touchdown. Yeah. And they contributed so much to his uh, foundation that year. So I got there the next year, and obviously I've got to uh, basically start my own little foundation, the Patricia Allen Fund at Oshai Children's Hospital, and they've donated, I mean, I think we're pushing three or four million dollars now in donations, which is unbelievable. It's 
It's fantastic. All right, so higher or lower than a nine? Lower. He goes lower, it's a push. Higher or lower than a nine? It lower. A nine, I promise. He goes ace, oh. Ace, see, I, I'm, I rigged the game. Now I get to make it higher. So I can no, I'm asking you a tough question. What gets you guys over the hump? Let's be real. We know the expectations. How do you get over the hump? Yeah, we gotta we gotta make one more play. Um, and that's that's myself. You know, if I if I make one more play during that game, who knows what's going on now? You know, I don't I don't like being here. I don't like no no offense to you. I don't like no, doing these I mean, interviews, right? Like I I don't want to do this stuff. Um, I'd rather be getting ready for a game on Sunday and. We're going to keep pushing, keep fighting, keep finding, trying to find a way to, to get over that hump. Here's the toughest question of all. Did I, did, did like, I mean, you're here with us on behalf of Subway. Did I earn anything out of the Subway? Like, so let's, we, now the cards are mine. Oh, right? my God. Now he gets the cards. This just so, turned around. That's a one. That's a one. So okay. one. we're going to go one. We're going to go one. Okay. That's a two. Two. Okay. Now he's got a three. three. These were shuffled. This is the. That's crazy. Look. Oh man, Subway's that making worked. noise. That's crazy. Tell us about Subway while this is making yeah, noise. Yeah, so they've got three new products. Uh, we've got the. Go ahead and open it. Yeah. I can open you this. Can, you can have these. Oh, these this are is for you. Warm. This is warm. They are warm. They are fantastic. We've got the footlong cookie. We got the oh, Cinnabon like, this footlong is... churro. Nope. Oh, and it's going. Yeah, the Auntie Anne's footlong pretzel, which are they're all fantastic, and uh, it's actually a pretty hot commodity. And literally, they are they are warm. I burnt my mouth on one earlier. So this is amazing. Uh, follow up question: Do I have to share? Like you, you know about being a great teammate. Does I mean, it make yeah. me I mean, look at look at your crew here? Of course, I think yeah, they all I'm deserve hungry. something. Josh, I'm hungry, man. There's enough. Okay, you okay, all right. Rank them for me. Your favorites, because you're gonna tell me they're all great. But Cookie I got the churro pretzel. Chick didn't even hesitate. Cookie churro pretzel, man. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.